Hey, what's up everybody? This is D with Kick and Bass TV. Today we're going to be reviewing the Daiwa Procaster 80 bait casting combo. So if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned. Thanks. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're reviewing the Procaster 80 from Daiwa. It's available in multiple options. Today we've got the 7'3 medium heavy, rated for 10 to 20 pound line and quarter to one ounce lures. It's got a split grip with a combination cork and EVA foam handles and the patented DVEC black and white digital camo design from Daiwa. And it's got a super lightweight carbon graphite blank with titanium oxide micro guides, which will give you increased accuracy and control when casting. It comes with a low profile CC80 carbon fiber frame reel with a 15 pound maximum drag, 7.5 to one gear ratio, a four plus one bearing system, a double anodized aluminum spool, a magnetic braking system here on the left, a three and a half inch swept handle, and a spool tensioner knob here on the right. And last but not least, it's got a nice bait catcher here on the bottom for added convenience. And we've got it set up with some 10 pound floral line, and we're gonna be throwing this Texas rig craw, which I have a small eighth inch bullet weight on. Now, provided that you've dialed in your reel correctly, which really doesn't take that long to do, uh, you can see that I'm easily able, even with this light tackle, to throw 125 to 150 foot casts here. And I'm doing so without having to put a lot of power into my cast. You shouldn't have to swing for the fences to get distance, provided you've dialed your reel in correctly and you're throwing the proper weight lure on the proper pound test. The name of the game here is letting that weight naturally pull the line off the reel. You can see that even with my sidearm cast, I'm not using a whole lot of energy and I'm still getting 75 to 80 foot casts. And as far as catching fish, we've caught a number of bass on this setup since we got it. We've had it for about three months and it quickly became my go-to bait casting setup. Now I've got some combos that cost a lot more, some that cost less, but this is honestly my favorite and there's a reason for that. I've been a huge fan of Daiwa since I was a teenager and this one's no exception. So much so that I'm planning on taking three or four more of these out and using them exclusively this year on the big bass tour and this one here just over two pounds had no problem at all bringing it in it's definitely the kind of rod that you can rely on not to lose a fish that might end up being your personal best all right guys so i just want to take a quick second give you guys a few reasons why i think you should check out the procaster 80 from daiwa number one daiwa's got a reputation for building some of the highest quality fishing products in the world and they have for a very very long time number two whether you're an expert angler or a beginner fisherman, this is the kind of bait caster that I recommend to anybody across the board because it's ease of use and the reliability is next to none and you'd be hard pressed to find a more comparable, more reliable, durable and lightweight bait casting combo on the market, especially at the $100 price point. Number three, it's a camo. So I'm the kind of person who likes anything available in camo. So it was a no brainer for me, especially after I took it out for a couple of days and found out how easy it was to use. That being said, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you are interested in checking out the Procaster 80 from Daiwa, there's a product link in the description down below. Just click that, it'll take you directly to Daiwa's website and you can pick one up for yourself. Until next time, I'm D with Kickin' Bass TV. Subscribe!